Alright, hi everyone. Um, this is Mr. PC here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give some instructions on how you create a um, animation like this guy right here. So, what this is, is this is just a pretty basic animation using uh, some of the stuff we know. There's an equation with parabola, circles, straight lines, and an ellipse for his face. And then by using some animations, we can stretch the parabola, and as it stretches, his teeth are uh, showing more and more. Um, and if you zoom in on the eyes, the eyes are actually uh, rotating, sort of like pinwheels. Uh, I will show you how to do all of that stuff, sort of step by step. Uh, the advantage of doing something like this is then eventually um, you can screen capture this and then convert it to a GIF file or a GIF file, however you prefer to pronounce it. And then that can be inserted anywhere into your emails, uh, into projects you're doing, in files. There's, there's, there's so many options for this. Uh, and so it's not just for your math class. You might find ways that this could be helpful for your um, any class, pretty much, where you're doing a demonstration or you want to uh, you have an idea for something you want it to move across the screen, but there's no clear way to how to do it. This can help get away. So it comes down to all just um, different shapes, so two different circles. And part of what it is is trying to do the least amount of work possible. So if you look here, I created an equation for one circle. And once I did that, it was just copy and paste for this one, but shift the center over by a little bit. I did not recreate the thing. Uh, I just used a little bit of tri tricks and techniques there. Same thing with the, uh, the number of lines here. These are not all individual lines. I just counted from n equals 1 to 30 and uh, had to do that. So the whole key is the more you know um, and the more you've learned throughout this class, the more equations you know, the, more, the easier it is to do stuff. If you know how to make a list, it's really easy to make 30 equations, just as easy as you can make one equation. If you can make one circle, you can make two circles just by copying and pasting and changing the center. So once you know how to change one number or what number to change, that's real easy. So the challenge will be, you're going to have stuff you want it to do, how do you get it to do what you want? And um, that's what we'll play around with in class and things like that, and sort of figure it out. So sort of to give you a basic idea of how this works, and some of the things I really like about Desmos, um, if you look at all these, it looks way super complicated. And you're like, oh my god, this is you know too much. It is sort of. So let's close this, and really, I separated each one. In fact, let's move this down so it's out of the way down to eyes, nose, mouth, and teeth. And when you think about it that way, it's, it's a lot easier to understand. So for example, the nose, let's take a look at that. That was just three equations, and they don't look like they're related, but they actually are. Once I figured out the equation for one, the other one is pretty much the same, uh, except for instead of two to the x minus eight, it's two, and then to the negative x, it still has the minus eight, so it's still the same parent function, but I shifted it by six with this plus six, and then the negative gives it a reflection. Now, that's harder to see, so maybe I should go over here and turn on the grid. And once you see the x, y axis, that's all it is. And so this, once you zoom in, you can see that this is just an exponential equation. And the other nice feature about Desmos, if you click it, you can take it on or off. You say, OK, that's for that equation. This one is for this one. And to really show you again, um, you can do this a little bit by trial and error. Let's say you, um, when we do this, I'll show you how to step by step it. But if you go to minus 10 instead, you'll notice the whole thing shifted down to minus 10 instead of minus 8. Okay, so that's the shift. And so we'll build all this sort of step by step because that, that's where I would do it. It looks overwhelming at first, but I guarantee you, you know all the math, you have all the equations. Uh, now it's just a matter of doing it. And so you say, um, I want to, you know, I, I thought about this and I said, hmm, what shape does a smile look like? Well, it's not really half a circle. I thought a uh, ellipse would be better, or sorry, a parabola would be better, and because his, his eyes were already circles. Now, once his mouth is stretching, having a circular face didn't make sense. So I said, well, this is, his mouth, his face is kind of stretched. Let's use an ellipse. So anything you know the equation for uh, can be created here, and then um, then we mess around with domain and range to make sure we only show part of the graph. And that's all it is. It's just using everything we know already. You have all the skills needed to create one of these. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, and then there's really no limit to that. So there's lots and lots of stuff you can do with Des Desmos animations. Um, I want to show you maybe just one more thing you can do. If we can zoom out here. Let me pause for a sec. Okay. Um, in Desmos over here, if you go open graph, 
Um, re what's really nice, if you do some work on this, you'll want to save your stuff that you did. Uh, there's lots of stuff I've done. Um, things, and uh, you know, you'll want to save them so you can come back to them real easily. Uh, here's another graph using animations. Uh, this is just all sine curves and then uh, points moving left and right. Let's hide this. And so if you get rid of that, it's just you take out the XY axis behind it and it just looks like a whole bunch of uh, jumping Marios and bouncing balls and flying bomb bombs and everything. So, but if you put it back, put back the XY axis, there it is. It's just it's just Mario's just you know following equations. There's and it's just one equation for Mario, and then I copy and pasted to have him at uh, different locations. So if you know one, you start the other one at plus one, and the other one's at plus two, and then uh, plus three, and then, and all you have to do is just add, change your equation by plus one, plus two, plus three, and you can get anything you want from that. So lots and lots and lots of options. Uh, just pretty much if you can dream it up, and we can find an equation for the motion that you're looking for, uh, we can probably make it happen. All right, so uh, this is sort of where we're going with it. Um, the other videos will sort of help explain uh, where else we can go with it and what else we can do with it. So uh, start thinking of ideas on what you want to animate and think about the path it moves along and what kind of equation would we need to use to model that path. So, for example, uh, objects flying through the air, maybe a parabola. This bomb is very basic, actually. Uh, he's just following a very straight line. Uh, that's as basic as you could possibly get in here, and it's really not that hard. And once you've done him, it'd be it, we could just as easy with two more lines. We could copy and paste him through, uh, have it do 50 of the bombs or 500 bombs or any, any number of bombs you want. So uh, there's, there really is no limit. Uh, so start thinking about ideas. Start coming up with what you want to move and um, start playing around with it. And if there's a motion that you don't know, you can always just search up the equation in um, Google. So if you don't know the equation for ellipse or you forgot it from Math 3, uh, look it up. It's, it's somewhere in Google and uh, type it into Desmos and then we'll play around with the numbers until we get it to be exactly the location we want. So uh, look forward to that and I look forward to seeing what awesome things you guys create this year. So uh, have fun with it and start look, think about ideas now.